Hello and welcome to Hospital Mom Hacks. Sorry, it's been a while. We've kind of had a busy year with lots going on. Ileostomy, new central line, more hospital stays, um, but we're hanging in there. Today I have, can you say hi Bella? Hi. Hi. Today I want to share with you some stuff that's helping my daughter through a difficult hospital stay when she feels okay, like just uh, a loss of control and um, but yet wanting her independence and so I've, I've had some SLPs help me set this up and it involves different pictures we can use with her to set up a schedule so right now we are playing with the iPad, knowing that soon we're gonna have a nurse's assessment. And so that prepares her for that to happen and so she won't get upset when the nurse comes in and has to do the assessment. And so she's prepared and warned and it helps alleviate some stresses around that procedure. You could also do, this, this strip can be like a schedule setup. You can also do this as well. So first we're doing iPad and then we're doing nurse ass assessment. And my daughter likes this because she can take this off, put it away, and know that this is next and take that off. She likes physically helping with that part. And then we have just a bunch of other options to help her through the day. So some ways to communicate. The have to's, so like CBC line dressing change or ileostomy pouch change. Um, fun picks are things like toys, books, puzzles, games, coloring, get dressed so she can choose what she wants to wear, shirt, socks, anything like that. And then the other one I have is go somewhere, so a chance to get out of the hospital room, go for a walk somewhere, and she can choose that. So I hope that this video has helped you in some way with your little one if they're if you're in hospital um, my daughter is four and a half and this system has helped her since like she could learn to talk and communicate it has helped her a lot even just visually as well as when she can actually speak so um, it's really good especially if you have a strong willed independent kid that doesn't like when everything is just out of control in their world like for example some things my daughter's going through right now um, is some bowel issues with her disease of Hirschsprungs. She's being told when she can and can't eat or drink. Um, blood work happens when it has to happen when the doctors order it and she doesn't get control over that. And so this is affecting her mentally and she, this communication system helps her regain some control of her own world. So I hope it helps you and your little one as well. Um, you can follow our story on Facebook at Isabella's Mustard Seed. And uh, my blog is on there as well. Uh, Isabella's Mustard Seed uh, at blogspot.ca. Yeah, so thanks for following. Thanks for watching. Take care.